tonight, the Wolverines look to hold on to first place in the Great West Conference as they play host to South Dakota. The only team so far to knock off the Wolverines in Great West Conference play. This one is going to be good. You've got a front row seat right here coming up on UVU TV. Swarbrick, his defender, hits the deck. Swarbrick jumps off the Hunsaker. Long three, got it! Jumper from way out of the top and bury the long two. It's basketball time in Utah Valley. And the top two teams in the Great West Conference scoring-wise going head-to-head -head tonight here in Orem, Utah, as the Wolverines of Utah Valley entertain the Coyotes of South Dakota. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Huge game as far as the standings are concerned in the Great West Conference. Neither one of these teams can afford to lose many more, Matt. Yeah, very critical game. Yeah, Wolverines so at home here. They're going to have to come away with a victory. They've got a 7-1 and one record sitting atop the conference standings as we see South Dakota there with a record of 4-3 and three on the road in tonight's game. Both teams are going to have to battle and play hard to get the victory in tonight's game. Now, when you compare these teams, they're pretty close statistics-wise. Wolverines lost by four up at their place for the season, though. Pretty close statistics on many categories. Yeah, it's these two teams are very identical and when you look across the board at some of the statistics that they are you talked about the two top scoring teams two top rebounding teams so we'll have to pay attention to those stats as we see the season comparisons here very similar for both teams so we'll, we'll pay attention to those stats. Wolverines are coming off a pretty impressive home victory against uh, UT Pan Am a couple of nights ago a game in which they never trailed it was a tough game but the Wolverines won it in convincing fashion that night. Yeah, we talked a lot, Jim, about the importance of this home stand for the Wolverines. As we're going to see some highlights of that game. I think the Wolverines came out and played solid. I don't think they played their best game offensively or defensively. So it'll see. That was uh, last Saturday. See how they're they're prepared and see if they're ready to go in tonight's game because they're going to need a much better effort against South Dakota tonight. Yeah, Wolverines love to play at home. They are 10-2 and two here at the UCCU Center. Let's talk about key players for tonight. First of all, for the Coyotes of South Dakota. Yeah, we always like to take a look at these key matches and who we think are going to have impacts on the game. We have Charlie Westbrook, who is a guard out of Milwaukee, as well as Louis Krogman. Those are going to be two players to watch, the two leading scorers for the Coyotes, and they're going to be important factors in tonight's game, and the Wolverines need to be prepared. Yeah, Krogman had a career-high 29 the first time these two teams played. All right, key players you're looking for tonight for the Wolverines. Well, we usually talk about Isaiah Williams and Jordan Swarbrick, who right. are the perimeter players, but we're going to focus tonight on interior players. Ben Aird and Geddes Robinson are going to have to have really good games for the Wolverines. They cannot get into foul trouble. That's that's uh, been kind of their Achilles heel when those two players are in the game. So they both got to stay out of foul trouble because the Wolverines need them on the floor. So let's talk about keys to victory then for both these teams tonight. Yeah, we, we love to talk about these keys to victory, and we point them out a lot during the game. So when we're talking about South Dakota, I think it's going to be very important for them to get the ball into the hands of their scorers. Uh, we're going to take a look here for the Wolverines. They need to get off to a very fast start. They have to return the ball. They've got to do a better job of getting back in their transition defenses. For South Dakota, they've got to do a good job of scoring. They've got to take care of the basketball. And for them, it's a lot about defense. Wolverines are a great scoring team. This one should be fun. Huge matchup in the Great West Conference tonight coming your way. We're going to take a break. Back with more Costa Vida pregame show, starting lineups, and your opening tip coming up right here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Pepsi. Every generation refreshes the world. 
by Utah Community Credit Union, a proud sponsor of Wolverine Athletics and the official sponsor of the UVU student section, The Mall. By Pinnacle Security, your life secure. Get a Pinnacle Security system today at PinnacleSecurity.com. And our pregame show brought to you by Costa Vida. Costa Vida, eat well, live inspired. CCU Center on the lovely campus of Utah Valley University where tonight the Wolverines looking to go 16 and 10 as they host the Coyotes from South Dakota. Great West Conference matchup. This one should be fun. They played about a month ago up in South Dakota. It was a four point victory that time for the Coyotes. The Wolverines were coming off a four overtime game though against North Dakota on Thursday night and had to turn around and play South Dakota on Saturday. Time for your starting lineups. First of all for the South Dakota Coyotes. 12 and 12 on the season, four and three in Great West Conference action. Charlie Westbrook gets the start at guard. He had 29 points against UVU in that first game. Overall in the season, he is the conference's fourth leading scorer, 16 and a half points a game. Charlie, six foot four, junior out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Louis Krogman, the other player we talked about in the pregame show, 13 and a half points a game. He's the number five scorer in the Great West Conference. He's 6'1". He's a junior out of White River, South Dakota. He is the all-time high school scoring leader in South Dakota, had over 3,500 points in high school. So it'll be Westbrook and Krogman at guard. Jake Thomas gets the start as well. He's six foot three, is a sophomore from Racine, Wisconsin, averaging 12 and a half points a game. And Ricardo Andriotti starts inside, six foot eight junior from Brazil, averaging five and a half points a game. And Trevor Gruis rounds out the starting five for the Coyotes, six foot nine freshman from Ellsworth, Minnesota, averaging just under 10 points a game. He is the conference's third leading rebounder. So for the Coyotes, Westbrook, Krogman, Thomas, Andriotti, and Gruis, they are coached by Dave Brooks, or excuse me, Dave Boots, in his 23rd season at South Dakota. Meanwhile, the Wolverines of Utah Valley, 15 and 10 overall on the season. They are seven and one in conference play. They're gonna start the same five guys. They've all, they've started all 25 games prior to this one. Won't be any surprise to anybody. They'll turn off the lights here and introduce them for our TV viewers, for our radio listeners. Let me just run it down for you. Isaiah Williams, second leading scorer in the conference at 17.7 a game. He'll start at guard, six foot one junior originally from Chicago, Illinois. Starting at point, Colton Hunsaker, 11 points a game. He's a six foot tall, true freshman from North Salt Lake City, Utah. Jordan Swarbrick gets a start at guard slash forward. 12 points a game for the senior out of El Dorado, California. Jordan stands six foot seven. Gettys Robinson, the conference's leading rebounder, starts inside at nine rebounds a game, nine points a game. Getty, six foot five, junior from the Bronx for our TV viewers. He is checking in right now on that starting lineup. And Ben Aird starts inside. He's the big man, six foot ten center. He's a freshman from Bountiful, Utah, averaging just under 11 points a game and 7.3 rebounds a game. Utah Valley, Williams, Hunsaker, Swarbrick, Robinson, and Aird. They are 15 and 10 on the season, 10 and 2 at home, 7 and 1 in conference play. Coached by Dick Hunsaker in his ninth season here at Utah Valley with a record of 164 and 95. Fourth time these two teams have met, Matt, South Dakota with a, with an edge. Series-wise, two to one. Does that really mean anything? I don't think so. I mean, I, I think that these <laughs> Thanks, teams, <Matt. laughs> these teams are going to be different. I mean, obviously, they played last year. I had the opportunity last year to call the championship game in the Great West Conference, so I got an up close uh, look at South Dakota last year. You know, they've they've got a couple different players this year. I, I think that you know over the course of a year or two, teams are going to change so much. I don't know how much those records. You know, a lot of times you hear in, in the media that oh, they're they're. 55 and 20 all time against this team. I don't think that's much of a statistic because you're really talking about, you know, two totally different teams, even just with one year of separation. So, uh, it, you know, this this matchup here with the Wolverines is going to be a good one. Wolverines for our radio listeners, shooting camera left, dressed in solid white, white jerseys, white trunks. They control the opening tip. South Dakota counters in red jerseys and red trunks. Simulcast tonight. Thanks for being with us here on the Wolverine Sports Network. First shot from Swarbrick, no good. Rebound comes down to South Dakota. South Dakota comes out in a 2-3 zone to start off the game. Uh, that's going to be a trend here. Wolverines, they do have a lot of three-point shooters. Let's see if they, they can take advantage. Jumper out front, no good. The big Ben Air pulls down the rebound. Played 30 seconds here. Each team's had a possession, no score. 
Hunsaker gives over to Swarbrick, gets it back. Gives it back over to Swarbrick. Looking inside, instead they'll work it around over to Isaiah. He'll jump a three left side, back rim too hard, rebound South Dakota. You know, having said that event, uh, against the, the zone, you can't take a lot of threes. You don't want to get sucked into only shooting threes. You have to be well aware to get your big men involved and get them active going too. Jumper outside, this one is good. That's Jake Thomas bearing the three. South Dakota on the board first, three nothing. Just about a minute gone here at the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley. In that first game, Jake Thomas took 11 threes, only made three of them, so he's not afraid to shoot. Wolverines almost turn it over, get it back. Hunsaker has it, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Over to Swarbrick, he'll jump a three, left side, bottom. There's your first Wolverine crossing three-pointer of the night. We're tied at three. Wolverines like the left-hand side of the court. Early on here with their offense, all three three-point shots coming from that side, and a nice make there for Jordan. So it'll be Coyote basketball. Shooting camera right. Frogman has it. Turnaround jumper this side from Gruis. No good. And Swarbrick cleans the glass for the Wolverines. There's that left hash spot that say the Wolverines like so much they passed up the jumper that time instead get it inside to Gettys back outside Holton he'll jump the long one from the corner and nothing but Silk another Wolverine crossing three-pointer and Wolverines 6-3 and all three-point shots you know definitely all their shots they're taking so they are they are taking advantage of the the zone defense that South Dakota's playing and wasn't it you that predicted there'd be a lot of inside stuff going on in this I, game? I thought so <laughs> I mean it, we've we've still got a long game left but uh, and I, I think eventually South Dakota will probably make some adjustments there and, and do a lot better job of guarding the three-point shot up top Andriotti yeah. takes the jumper misses it and the conference's leading rebounder Gettys Robinson pull that one down Wolverine possession they lead it 6-3 17-15 to play here, first half. Ben Aird driving. Partially blocked by Gruis. Ball went out of bounds off South Dakota. Wolverines have 21 on the shot to work with. You know, we've talked about before, Jim. Ben loves that spot on the court. He loves getting the ball at the free throw line because he has options. He can either shoot the ball, he can drive to the basket like he did there and like he did a number of times in the Pan Am game, or he can pass out of it. So he loves that spot. He's got it there again. Wolverines get it in. Work it over to Swarbrick on the left side. Out to Williams. He'll jump a long three. Bottom. My goodness. Well, maybe we won't go inside at all. It's nine to three after three Wolverine crossing three pointers from Utah Valley. South Dakota jumper free throw line comes off no good. Rebound back up and in that time by Ricardo Andriotti. He only had two points in the first game between these two, so he's already matched that one here. Isaiah, another jumper for three right side this time. I'm telling you what, from three-point land, UVU starts four out of six, and they lead it 12 to five. You know, and they're not four shots either, Jim. They're great shots. They're coming in the rhythm of the offense. They're getting ball movement and making awesome shots. Gettys Robinson pulls down yet another defensive rebound. Wolverines on the run following that South Dakota miss. Another three from Hunsaker. Back rim too hard. Aired with the rebound. Outside Williams. He's got the hot hand. He missed his. Gettys inside. Back up. Missed it. Aired. Back up. And good. One of our keys to start off the game, we were going to be talking about inside play. There we go. A couple offensive rebounds. When you have teams playing a 2-3 zone, you can absolutely kill the offensive glass because it's so hard to rebound when you're in a 2-3 zone. 14 to 5 Wolverines lead. I wish our radio listeners could uh, could be here to see how physical it is inside even though there's a lot of three-point shooting outside traveling this time on South Dakota. Brings us to our first media timeout. We'll take it with them. 15 and a half minutes to play here first half. Wolverines out in front 14 to 5. We'll take a 60 second break. Back with us in a minute on the Wolverine Sports Network. Not an actor. So to tell, to tell his story, we hired a UVU student. Knowledge-based edification increases executive functioning in the frontal lobes. Yo, dude, UVU is more than an education. It's a life experience. Exposure to enhanced pedagogical approaches promotes neural activity in 
the limbic system. For sick education, get here and strap in. UVU facilitates the discovery of your personal Welten Schwung. What? Dude, you don't know everything yet. Utah Valley University. It's your university. Welten Schwung! Wolverines hit four three-pointers to open this game. They finally ended up with a two from Ben Ayer. They lead it 14 to five on 46% shooting in the early going. Meanwhile, South Dakota counters at 29% shooting. Fans, a reminder, Adidas is now the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas Apparel, go to adidas.com. Thanks for being with us on this simulcast. Great West Conference matchup between the Coyotes of South Dakota and the Wolverines of Utah Valley. Isaiah's got six, Swarbrick three, Aird two, Hunsaker three. That's how the Wolverines got their 14 in the first four and a half minutes of this game. Wolverine basketball, shooting camera left. Swarbrick has it, deep left corner, out to Hunsaker. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Gives it back to Swarbrick. Now work it over to Isaiah right side. Kick it out to Swarbrick, he'll jump a long two. Got it. Oh no, and I'll say it's a three. Yeah, what else is new? A great drive there from Isaiah. Didn't force up any shot. You can also hurt a zone if you get middle penetration just like he did. He took what, what was given to him. Beautiful out uh, pass out to Jordan for the wide open three. Inside action. Back up and in. South Dakota working hard for that one. That was Jake Thomas. Wolverines lead it by 10, 17 to 7. Seven Wolverines out front by 10 in South Dakota, as they did in South Dakota. Matt, you weren't there, but the Coyotes like to play a lot of players. And they just made a massive substitution. Holton Hunsager will trigger in for the Wolverines. Gets it into Gettys Robinson. A little traffic. Works it up top. Now out to Holton. There's a three-pointer. Bottom again. This is unbelievable. Well, and they're all coming from the left side. It's so odd how many three-point shots they're getting from that left wing. Uh, you know, it's a great spot for them, and it, it looks like they're just comfortable. Any player over there likes to shoot a three. Six out of ten. Inside, off the glass, no. Fought for, batted around, goes out of bounds. Uh, looks like it's going to belong to the Wolverines. It does. Yeah, I think South Dakota's offense looks like it's really geared to be perimeter-oriented and driving to the basket. Looks like they're doing a lot of you know, on-ball screens, on-ball handoffs, trying to get into the paint and create problems. They have gotten a couple easy looks inside, so Wolverine's got to do a better, a better job of containing the drive from the perimeter players. And as far as scoring, how about this? Even scoring, Matt. Williams with six points. Hunsaker with six. Swarbrick with six. All three of those guys have hit two, uh, two three-pointers. Yeah, and I think a, a point to be made, obviously, before is that kind of what we talked about. They haven't been out of offense. They haven't been any type of forced shot. It's coming within the confines of the office. Uh, they're, they're getting great shots. One statistic, in that first game up in Vermillion, uh, Wolverines only attempted 18 three-point shots, so they're well above the pace uh, to pass that up tonight as they've already attempted 10 three-point shots. The delay here, the ball went up underneath the stands, and... They want the game ball to be the game ball, so had to retrieve that one. Maybe somebody thought it was a souvenir. It's like baseball. Wolverine's going to be called for the over and back. Backcourt violation, first turnover for the Wolverines here in this game. Wolverines 54% shooting in the early going on 7 of 13. Meanwhile, South Dakota counters at just 30% on 3 of 10. It's one of the reasons it's 20 to 7, Wolverines. South Dakota did score first. It was 3-0. 13.40 to play first half. There's another jumper way out front. Rims off no good. That one was from Tecker. The Wolverines have the possession. Holton Hunsager walked it across the time stripe. Give it over to Isaiah. Swarbrick. 
to Aird. Left side, it goes to Holton. He's on put for three again. Missed that one. And South Dakota with the rebound. Six of 11 now from three-point land. Speaking of threes, Jordan Boot nails it. Wolverines lead is 10 at 20 to 10. One of the keys in the pregame, I made a quick mention of how the fact that the Wolverines have to do a better job of get batting, getting back in transition defense. That's time just a simple mistake leaving uh, him wide open. Yeah, yeah, speaking of wide open, they left Holton Hunsaker wide open, and he nailed the NBA three from dead straight away. 23 to 10, Wolverines on top. Trying to extend the defense. When you hit a three-point shot like that, the defense has no option but to come out and play tougher defense and extend where they normally want to be. Gettys Robinson blocks the shot. Wolverines possession. So far, Wolverines looking like a complete different team than they did at South Dakota as Isaiah Williams buries the three. It's like Isaiah and Holton Hunsaker are just trading Wolverine crossing three-pointers. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're playing great. Both uh, both players are looking very comfortable when shooting. You know, so much for our theory are talking about the <laughs> interior play. They have shown us a different way to play tonight, and that's shooting the three-point shot. South Dakota's trying to go inside. Wolverines are taking that away. Gettys Robinson layup inside on a nice move and a nice feed. That's only the Wolverines' second two-pointer here of this first half. 28 to 10, just under 12 minutes to go. Incredible clip. Look, look at that. 8 of 13 for the Wolverines. That, that's an incredible statistic. They've come out shooting the ball extremely well tonight. Nice play there for Gettys Robinson running the court and getting rewarded. Drive again. They may give Gettys a block on that one as well. Back-to-back -back blocks by Gettys Robinson. Wolverine possession. 11 and a half minutes to play. A little travel as Getty thought he was fouled, but he's not going to get that call. 11 and a half minutes, it brings us to another media timeout. 28 to 10, Wolverines leading by 18. Don't go away. This one, uh, I think, is going to get a little closer than it is right now. We'll be back in 60 here on the Wolverine Sports Network. We meet here once a week. It's a chance to discuss mostly. I've always been like super concerned about saving money, right? But like I really wanted like a good education too. I guess I really got green fever when like I found out how Utah Valley University can get me both. We have our regulars and of course there are always our new ones every time. I'm Steve. Hi, Hi Steve. Steve. This is my first week here. Uh, I'm really excited. This whole green fever thing's kind of just started for me. So. More and more people want to know about green fever. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Wolverine shooting now 59% as opposed to 27%. A reminder, the UVU Alumni Association is proud to sponsor the player of the game tonight. Support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online at uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. Matt Peterson and I will choose the Alumni Association player of the game in our postgame show, and right now I'm not sure who would get it. Isaiah's got nine. Hunsaker's got nine. Swarbrick's got six. Getty's with Two points and four rebounds. Ben Aaron with two points and five rebounds. Any of the starting five right now, pretty good candidate for player of the game. 11 and a half minutes gone here in this first half. Wolverines lead it 28 to 10. South Dakota scored the first three, and the Wolverines have outscored them 28 to 7 since. Coyote basketball. Shooting camera right. Thomas with it, working between the circles. Guarded by Ben Ayer. Kind of an imposing figure to try to drive around. Instead, the jumper comes from the right side by Tecker. He'll nail the three. Yeah, tough matchup there. We saw Ben Ayer play really pretty good defense at the top of the key. There was some uh, help that was forced to come in off of an attempted drive there, uh, leaving Tecker, as you said, wide open for the three-point shot. 28-13. Kevin Woods, Keith Thompson in the game now for the Wolverines. Ben Ayer takes the jumper inside and scores. You know, when the Wolverines aren't shooting three-point shots and making them, they've been very effective when they can get the ball into Ben and give him some touches around the three-point line, or excuse me, around the free-throw line. And I know that he'd like to get a little bit deeper as he did on, uh, on that catch there. It's just an easy score for him. 
Jumper outside for three. Thomas plays it off the backboard. Wolverines have possession on the miss. Deadweiler and Baker also into the game. Keith Thompson with it right now. Ben Air, the only starter for the Wolverines, still in there. Baker, jumper, no. He'll shoot two as he was fouled. Is that our first foul in this game? Second, second team foul against South Dakota. Wolverines have yet to commit a foul. We've played nine and a half minutes of basketball. And with this lineup, I think this is maybe where we can expect a little bit more of the inside play as we have Ben Aaron and Justin Baker in the game. Uh, you know, they've been very active the last possession. Ben got that shot. Uh, Justin got the, the ball in prime position and, and did a nice, uh, nice move to the middle of the court and, and just an easy shot and gets fouled. Baker makes one of two. 31-13, Wolverines way out in front. South Dakota possession following that second free throw miss. Cutler with the basketball in his hands. Kendall Cutler, six foot senior. South Dakota cuts it to 31 15. Really nice drive there from Kendall Cutler. Once again, it's a problem for the Wolverines when they have guards who can penetrate. It causes them a little bit of problems. Just a beautiful dish off there for uh, Taylor Gruis for the basket. Aird has it again. Same shot, same result. 33 15. Aird has six points. He just looks so comfortable when he gets the ball there. I think he's, you know, he's obviously worked on that shot, and he just feels and, and looks like he's uh, very comfortable when he gets the ball in that position. Ben had 19 points at South Dakota. I think he might have been licking his chops seeing them on the schedule again. Three-pointer this time from South Dakota's Jake <laughs> Thomas, 33-18, with 9:20 to play, first half. Baker. Over to Deadweiler, gives over to Woods up the top. Back over to Deadweiler, to Aird. Well, they collapsed quickly on Aird that time, didn't they? Woods has it. Over to Keith Thompson, he'll drive with 13 seconds on the shot clock. They'll wave off the basket. Say he was fouled first on his way to putting up that running hook. See Keith being very active here, a nice, uh, nice ball fake. I used to love playing against teams when, when they would play us in a zone because it allows for so much offensive opportunity. You can move without the basketball. You can pass fake. You can shot fake. You can drive to the middle. There's just so many options to create when you're playing against a zone. It's good to see a, a Keith get in there, use a ball fake, and, and get a, and be aggressive driving into the middle. Ben Air getting a rest. Getty's Robinson back in. Wolverines with possession. They'll get it into Gettys. Double team gets it over to Baker. Lost the handle momentarily. Lays it up and in. 35 to 18. Wolverines with 8:40 to play. First half. It's Cutler again. That's Gettys Robinson again with the rebound on the miss. Wolverines. I'm not sure I've seen the Wolverines play a better 11 and a half minutes of basketball to start any game this season as they have tonight. Inside to Baker. Yeah, there's the jinx. Yep. As soon as I say that, turnover. Jordan Boots. Jumper outside. It comes from Thomas. He missed it. Rebound comes down to Cutler. Gives over to Gruis. Forces it up and in. They're probably going to give him this basket. We'll wait for the official signal. That foul is going to go against Gettys Robinson. And that's the Wolverines' first team foul. Played almost 12 minutes of basketball. You know, great move there from... Uh, as you said, Trevor Brewis, as you see here, watch him just give an up fake, got Gettys in the air, and just kind of went back to the middle. Nice use of the ball fake there uh, by Trevor Brewis. 35-20, they will count it. And the uh, four of the starting five are back in for the Wolverines right now. Hunsaker Williams, Swarbrick aired. Gettys Robinson takes a seat, and Justin Baker stays out there. And this opportunity here for Gruis to get to the free throw line was caused by that long three-point shot. When you get long three-point shots, there's going to be long rebounds, and that's how uh, South Dakota came down with that basketball. Wolverine possession following the missed free throw. Hunsaker has it, left corner, now to Baker, back to Holton. And he stepped on the sideline when he caught that pass. Turnover, Wolverine. That brings us to yet another media timeout. 7.49 to play here, first half. Wolverines out in front by 15 points. It's 35 to 20. You're watching and listening. Utah Valley Basketball on the Wolverine Sports Network. 
I never used to care about college sports. I mean, I go to a game or two, but it's mainly for social reasons, you know? But now things are different. And how has Green Fever affected your school spirit? Are you kidding me? I never miss a sporting event, home or away. You got NCAA baseball, softball, basketball, cross country, golf, track and field, wrestling, soccer, volleyball. I'm keeping stats. I'm memorizing stats. I'm memorizing numbers. I'm dreaming about numbers. I'm dreaming about Wolverines. I just bought a pet Wolverine. It tore my dad's favorite chair. It was wicked awesome. And how does that make you feel? Oh, yeah, I guess it's, it's pretty cool. Me? No, I, I don't play sports. I wouldn't want to make the athletes envious. I don't mess around, man. Wolverines lead it 35 to 20. The threes have reigned supreme, Matt Peterson. Yeah, Wolverines are on fire, eight of 13 so far in this game. This was a game that I would have loved to play in. I, I love taking the three-point shot, and I think the Wolverines are doing an excellent job of hitting the open teammate, and they're getting great shots. Cutler with it. South Dakota possession. They trail 35 to 20, coming up on seven and a half minutes left here, first half. Cutler driving again. Aired blocked it. Did he get him with the body? Yep. A foul on Ben Aird, his first, team's second. And that's going to put Kendall Cutler at the line. Oh, yeah, I guess he did get him with the body on the replay, huh? Definitely got him on the body. I, I think this lineup for the Wolverines is going to be one that's difficult to defend. And, and why I'm saying that is because Trevor Gruis is really the only big man that's in the game right now. Wolverines have Justin Baker and Ben Aird in the game, so one of those two players is going to be responsible, is going to have to take uh, the, the responsibility to guard a smaller player, as we see the next biggest player is going to be Charlie Westbrook, who listed as 6'4". I'd be surprised if he was that, but a tough defensive matchup, so we'll watch that the next possession, see who Ben or Justin matches up against and, and how well they do on a smaller player. Torbrick will take the jumper for three, miss that one. South Dakota with the defensive rebound. South Dakota had made both those free throws for our radio listeners, so it's 35-22, Wolverines out in front. South Dakota misses the jumper, and Justin Baker cleans the glass. Wolverines quickly down the other end. Isaiah for three, bottom from the left corner. These guys are on fire. Isaiah's got 12 points on four of six from three-point land. Yeah, Isaiah did a really nice thing here. He stayed wide running in transition and got deep into the corner. Holton did a wonderful job of forcing the defender to pick who he was going to guard. He went to Holton, and Holton made the right read, passing it off to Isaiah. Westbrook misses the jumper. Wolverines with the loose ball rebound. 38-22, Wolverines by 16. Missed to this one in South Dakota <coughs> with their own defensive rebound. Cutler has it, puts it outside. Isaiah's just all over Louis Krogman. Krogman lit up the Wolverines for 19 points up at South Dakota. 20 seconds on the shot clock, driving in, one-handed slam that time by Charlie Westbrook. Got some leaping ability. Wow, unbelievable play there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Nice play from. Charlie Westbrook. And Baker responds the other way. 40 to 24. Wolverines by 16. They've led by as many as 18 here in this first half. We're just under six minutes to play. See, we're seeing this matchup here. Look at this screen. They're trying to get a clear out there. Charlie Westbrook trying to go one on one with Justin Baker. Baker tried to take the charge, but Westbrook scores over him. 40 to 26. Westbrook with four points now. And both baskets pretty impressive. Wolverines by 14. Ben Aaron has it. Out to Holton. He'll jump a three. Missed that one. Ball up. Baker's got it. Back up. And he missed it from point blank range. And South Dakota comes away with that rebound. Yeah, really unfortunate they uh, break there for Justin. He was just a little bunny there. Just rolled off of the rim. Here we go with that matchup again, Jim. Charlie Westbrook missed calling his own play there. Missed that one. Aired with the rebound. Ahead to Hunsaker. He'll force it in traffic, driving. He was fouled on the way. 
missed the shot, so I think he was fouled before he put the shot up anyway, so it'll just be Wolverine basketball. Fourth team foul, first personal foul against Louis Crockett. Wolverines now with their starting five back on the floor. See Holton pushing the ball there. See if the Wolverines are going to try and be aggressive on this inbound play. Looks like they're just going to try and get it in and, and run their zone offense. Hunsaker with it, left corner. Down low, Gettys Robinson starts to drive. And a foul is going to be called inside. That one's going to go against Andriotti. Wolverine shooting a blistering nearly 58%. Meanwhile, South Dakota 37%. Second foul, by the way, against Andriotti. Fifth team foul. Just under five minutes to play in this first half. Wolverines out in front, 40 to 26. First time these two played, eight lead changes. Ben Aird, jumper. That's what, three jumpers from Ben Aird, pretty much all from the same distance. He's got eight points overall. Yeah, beautifully designed play. Give a lot of credit there also uh, to the screeners. He had Geddes Robinson set a screen and also Jordan Swarbrick setting a screen to get Ben open there. And, you know, just a short little jump shot there for Ben. It's a, it's a strong part of his game. Wolverines knocked it out of bounds. It'll belong to the Coyotes of South Dakota. Wolverines looking to hang on to first place in the Great West Conference. They currently lead the standings of the 7-1 conference record, South Dakota. A couple of games back at 4-3. and three. Westbrook drives in. And the Wolverines come up with yet another turnover. Isaiah closely guarded by Krogman. Up top to Swarbrick. Leads one man. He'll give it out to Isaiah. He'll jump a long one. Missed that one. And back up and in by Kenny Robinson. He is a beast inside. Yeah, he is a machine on the offensive rebound as well as the defensive rebound. Wolverine's so strong as a team in that category. Kenny Robinson showing why he's now the number one rebounder in the conference. South Dakota comes down, scores quickly 44 28 now. Wolverine's out in front. Just under four minutes to play. Working in the Gettys again. No shot for him this time. Working back outside and back in. Gettys twisting, working hard. Gets his own miss. Now to Ben. Shot up. Boy, it's getting physical inside. Finally, a whistle blows. I mean, both teams could have been called for a couple of fouls there, I thought, but officials give them credit. They're letting these guys play. I love it. Yeah, definitely. We thought at the beginning of the game it was going to be inside. The first of the game was a lot of three-point shots. Now we're seeing that inside game pick up here. Timeout on the floor. Wolverines lead it 44-28. We'll take a 60-second break. Back with more action here on the Wolverine Sports Network. section and cheer for the mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Wolverines lead it 44 to 28. A reminder re about La Quinta Inn and Suites. Remember the special UVU discounted rate. And always wake up on the bright side. Wolverines lead this one on the bright side 44 26. Very impressive first half. I told you in the free game show, both these teams are the number one and number two scoring teams in the conference. Right now, Wolverines looking like one of the best scoring teams in the nation, and they are ranked 20, or excuse me, 30th in the nation. South Dakota, who's ranked 20th. You know, South Dakota got off to a, a slow start on the offensive end. They're starting to heat up. Wolverine said, three, three minutes and uh, 40 seconds left in this first half. They've got to, they've got to keep South Dakota in check here. Don't want to get them any rhythm going for the second half. Wolverine's now two of three from the free throw line. Jumper out front for three from South Dakota's Jordan Boots. 
They're trying to claw their way back into it. 46-31. Wolverines out front with 3.20 left. Foul this time as the Wolverines are trying to get something going. We go against Krogman. His second, team's seventh. 3.20 to play, first half. Wolverines lead at 46-31. Scoreboard said second, but the PA announcer said first foul on Krogman, so. We'll go with the two that the official stat board in front of us is showing. Wolverines have it. Honesaker to air. Left side Swerber. He'll jump a three. Front rim, no. Rebound, South Dakota. We're under three minutes to play in this first half. Wolverines out in front by 15. Jumper from three the other way. South Dakota buries that one. That's Louis Krugman. 46-34. Yeah, there's that transition defense that we're talking about. Sometimes the Wolverines have lapses in their transition defense. That was a blatant mistake because Krugman was wide open. No one even near him just getting down in the corner. Two and a half to play. Hunsaker up top to Gettys Robinson. Look it up top to Hunsaker again. Holton, true freshman, drives in, puts up the floater. Missed that one. He's fouled. That one's going to go against Jordan Boots. We put Holton Hunsaker at the free throw line. And you do not want to put three of these Wolverines at the free throw line. Three of the best free throw shooters in the nation. Holton Hunsaker, 53rd in the nation. Isaiah, 44th. And Jordan Swarbrick, 19th. As a team, the Wolverines, 11th best free throw shooting team in the country. And what do you know? The jinx didn't work this time. Hunsaker makes it. Hunsaker had a string of 38 straight free throws the other night uh, snapped when he missed the middle of three. I think Ryan Toulson holds the school record here at 52 straight. Two minutes, 23 seconds left to play here. First half, Wolverines have trailed only once. That's when it was 3-0. Hunsaker's second free throw, also good. Critical couple possessions here coming up, Jim. South Dakota's got a rhythm. They, they got off to a slow start. They picked it up here. They're going to be looking to come off these screens shooting three-point shots. South Dakota air balls this one. They'll get it back with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Coming up on two minutes on the game clock. Miss another long one, and Swarbrick with the loose ball rebound this time for the Wolverines. South Dakota shooting 43% here in this first half. Gettys Robinson inside, up, nope. And South Dakota comes away with it. They want to run. Cutler's got it. Weaving his way through traffic. Ball on the floor, picked up by Sean Deadweiler of the Wolverines. You know, they want to run. That's an understatement, Jim. They're looking to get the ball out and going, and whoever gets it, they've got a number of guards who are looking to push the ball in transition. Coach Dick Hunsager jumped off off the bench and wants to call a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep this one here. It gives us a chance to remind you about uh, Pepsi. They are a proud sponsor and a major sponsor of Utah Valley University Athletics. Pepsi, every generation refreshes the world. Wolverines have... Two more home games in the regular season. They'll be hosting North Dakota on Saturday night. Tip is 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Then they'll have a week off before hosting Houston Baptist a week from Saturday, also 7 o'clock. Then they're on the road to close out the regular season at NJIT, which is shaping up more and more to be like it might just be the regular season conference championship game. I know we still got three games to go between now and then, but... It's looking like it just might come down to the last game of the year, and that's kind of what you want. That's a lot of fun. It's a good, you've had a fun season when that happens. Yeah, that'll be a tough game, uh, you know, if NJIT keeps winning, as, as if the Wolverines keep winning as well. That's what you play for, the opportunity to go on the road, win the regular season, uh, you know, basically the, the regular season record, be regular season conference champions. It'd be exciting. Wolverine shooting has cooled off just a bit there. Gosh, they're down to 51%. Isaiah. This is another three Ball on the floor, picked up by South Dakota. Isaiah now four of nine from the floor, 12 points overall, by the way. Jumper outside, coming from Boots. He misses that one, and Swarbrick with it. South Dakota just 13 of 33 shooting here in this first half. A minute 12 left to play until we send the team to the locker room. Wolverines look like they're going to slow this one down. 
four starters on the floor. Dennis Robinson on the bench. Sean Deadweiler in for him. Holden Hunsager with the basketball. Left wing. Comes to the top. Lost his footing and threw it away. Turnover. Boots on the run. Dishes off. Cutler. Now he'll dish off with a one-hand slam from Bruis. Nice ball movement. Yeah, those turnovers are, have really been hurting the Wolverines. It's going to give them five. They haven't turned it over very often, but they have turned it over at critical times, and that was a critical turnover. Yeah, if the Wolverines have an Achilles heel, it's the 14 and a half turnovers a game that they give up, and a lot of those have come on steals against Holton Hunsaker, the true freshman, having some trouble frequently against the full court press. Jumper outside by that freshman, but if you can shoot threes like that, carry another Wolverine crossing three-pointer and give your team a 51-36 lead and can put up with a turnover now and then. Well, they're going through Ben Aaron. They're going through him at the high post, and that's, that's done wonders for them. Cutler twisting, dishing off, shot good. Trevor Gruis back-to-back buckets. 51-38, and that's how the first half will end. We'll send these two teams to the locker room. 51-38, Wolverines with a very impressive first half of action. A couple of uh, eight-point runs, a nine-point run. South Dakota did lead it early, 3-0, but the Wolverines controlled most of that first half and just pretty much dominated. The Wolverines just averaging 77 points a game, and they've got 51 here at halftime. We'll take a break back with our halftime show. You're watching and listening to the simulcast of Utah Valley Basketball here on the Wolverine Sports Network. UVU's College of Technology and Computing, also known as TNC, we don't spend a lot of time bragging, but I guess we could. We could brag about having one of the top three aviation programs in the entire country, turning out professional pilots and administrative personnel to work for airlines and private industry. Or we could brag about our national award-winning culinary arts program, with graduates who are going straight to glamorous jobs on cruise ships and in major restaurants, or who are opening their own restaurants. Or we could brag about our digital media students who are winning major awards even before they graduate. Or we could brag about our international efforts, sending TNC students all over the world, places like Mali and Russia and Namibia. Or we could brag about our computer science department or our information systems and technology department as they continue to train some of the best and sharpest young minds in the state of Utah using state-of-the-art technology in classrooms and computer labs. Or we could brag about our technology management program where students are always engaged in life-changing projects like using technology to assist those with disabilities. Or I guess we could brag about the fact that many of the CSI investigators and fire and rescue personnel in the state of Utah have gone through extensive training in our public services programs. Or I guess we could brag about our world land speed record car that was completely built and erased out of our highly acclaimed automotive department. Or we could brag about our high-tech electrical automation and robotic technology and mechatronics programs. Or our engineering graphics and design program, which is turning out some of the most advanced technicians in the state of Utah. Or we could brag about our construction technology students who helped build Habitat for Humanity homes and just won first place at the National Association of Home Builders competition in Las Vegas. That's first place in the entire nation. Or we could brag about TNC students leading UVU to a first, second, or third place finish in the nation for 10 straight years at the National Skills USA competition. Or we could brag about the fact that many companies are discovering that when they hire our graduates, they get somebody who doesn't just know facts. They get a TNC graduate who has actually done it before. And that's because our TNC students are engaged, truly engaged, and actually doing things rather than just learning facts. So, even though there is a lot to brag about here at the College of Technology and Computing, we really don't like to brag much.
about going to college and getting a head start on the process? Come get a feel for what university life is like. UVU Days are designed with you in mind. UVU Days are department-specific events held on Saturdays that will allow you to become a student for a day. These events are free and breakfast and lunch are served. It's a great opportunity to meet your future dean, professors, and advisors. Highlighted programs include business, science and health, education, humanities, aviation, dance, theater, and emergency service. For more information, dates, and times, please visit our website at www.uvu.edu forward slash future students. Come experience what UVU has to offer in your field of study. I love everything about UVU. I really do. It's a fantastic place. I feel like I've grown as an artist, as a student, as a human being. As someone from a different state who was trying to find a dance school, it was very, very hard. And I happened to come by UVU by chance, actually. It's a great school. It teaches you history, rhythm, music choreography, improv, dance. It even has a major in ballroom dance. When I think of UVU's School of the Arts program, I think of opportunity that I wouldn't get anywhere else outside of the classroom. I feel like I know my professors. I feel like they're interested in my learning process. The, the professors here have just been really, really personable, very, very willing to go out of their way to meet with me, to talk with me, offer advice, counsel, and, and just overall they just believe that what you're doing here matters. And that's what I love. to enjoy outdoors in the state of Utah. Whether you want a spring, summer, fall, or winter adventure, the OEC has you covered. Backpacking, winter camping, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, backcountry snowboarding and skiing, rafting, kayaking, rock climbing, mountain biking, and hiking. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Situated just 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City, UVU is located at the foot of the scenic Wasatch Mountains in Orem, Utah. Within 20 miles of campus, students enjoy access to year-round outdoor recreation. Utah Valley is also home to a vibrant local arts and music scene. Many students choose UVU for access to a dynamic economy, employment, and career opportunities. lead it big time and perhaps their best first half of the season. Matt Peterson, when you take a look at the statistics uh, between these two teams as our TV viewers have joined us, uh, there's just all sorts of things jump out at you, all mostly in favor of UVU. Yeah, number one is obviously the three-point shots. 10 of 21, you know, they got off to a great start shooting the three-point ball. They've cooled off just a little bit. You know, six free throws, you expect that maybe when teams are gonna be playing a zone, 
you know, maybe expect not to shoot as many free throws. Uh, you'll see the rebounds. Wolverines dominating 25 to 14. Uh, largest lead the Wolverines had an 18 point. I believe that was when they were up 28 to 10. And you, you see the points there. So, uh, you know, but take a look at that, Jim. And we, we've had a lot of three point shots from both teams, 35 combined in the first half. And I don't know <laughs> if that's going to change. I don't see how it's going to change. The Wolverines are still going to be able to get those three point shots. And I think that South Dakota does things offensively that leads to three point shots on their end as well. So maybe which team cools off first is, uh, is going to struggle here in the second half. Utah Valley clearly trying to prove that that four point loss earlier this season to South Dakota was an, an aberration in their Great West Conference season. Individual scoring for Utah Valley here in that first half. Holton Hunsaker 14 points. Isaiah Williams 12 points. Ben Aird 8 points, 7 rebounds. Geddes Robinson 6 points, 8 rebounds. Jordan Swarbrick 6 and he, or excuse me, Justin Baker had 5. That's how the Wolverines got their 51. Meanwhile for South Dakota, nobody in double figures. Gruis and Jake Thomas both with eight. Krogman had five. Charlie Westbrook had four. Westbrook just two of eight shooting. Kind of surprises me, but then again, maybe not because the Wolverines, after what they saw, what he did to them up at South Dakota, obviously clamping down on him here at the UCCU Center. Yeah, there's been a number of different defenders that have, that have guarded him. You know, we saw Justin Baker for about four straight possessions you know, forced to play Charlie Westbrook. We've had a couple other players, you know, try and attempt to guard him. I think they've done a pretty good job for the most part. So, you know, he's going to try and be a factor here in the second half. Uh, Wolverines will, will need to focus on him. Wolverines led that almost the entire way. They trailed three to nothing, then pushed their lead out to as many as 18 points. They lead at halftime, 51-38. We're going to take a 90-second break, a minute and a half break. Stations back with more action. You're watching and listening to exclusive coverage of Utah Valley University basketball here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Pepsi. Every generation refreshes the world. By Utah Community Credit Union, a proud sponsor of Wolverine Athletics and the official sponsor of the UVU student section, The Mall. By Pinnacle Security, your life secure. Get a Pinnacle Security system today at PinnacleSecurity.com. And our pregame show brought to you by Costa Vida. Costa Vida, eat well, live inspired. We certainly appreciate all of our sponsors making these telecasts possible. It's a simulcast tonight, K-Star Radio, along with UVU TV. Radio listeners are about to join us here at the UCCU Center. Wolverines lead at 51-38. A reminder, fans, the Utah Army National Guard is the official sponsor of the UVU Athletics Pink with a Purpose Games, raising money for people in need. Jim McCall along with Matt Peterson. Utah Valley coming off what most folks around here on Press Row agree, the best first half they've played all season. You like to see that if you're a Wolverine fan this time of year with just three to go before you get into conference tournament play. You want to be playing your best basketball, but as you mentioned, can they sustain it? Sometimes they come out of the locker room pretty flat. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit unrealistic to expect the same three-point shooting that they had in the first half for the entire game. So that means that they're going to have to come up with offense in, in possibly other ways. I mean, that first half they shot 43% uh, from the three-point line. I mean, that's not... Uh, you know, unrealistic to shoot that for the entire game. But when they were shooting 8 of 13 or when they were shooting, you know, 9 of 15, those percentages are a little bit unrealistic. So I look for them to, in the second half. I don't think they're going to stop or go away from the three-point shots. Uh, I think that they're still going to try and work that ball in through Ben Aird at the high post and let him create some offense because it, it's done a, it's done a, 
a nice job for them in the first half of, of doing that. You know, one statistic that, that we talked about, Jim, was 15 assists for the Wolverines. You know, a number of different Wolverines are, are sharing the basketball, hitting the open teammate, creating offense for one another, and, and that, you know, that could be a credit to the Wolverines putting up 51 points here in the first half. All right, for our video viewers, show you some highlights of this first half. I'll turn it over to Matt. Talk about what's happening for our viewers. You know, my guess is that we're going to see a lot of three-point shots here. You know, see a three <laughs> there from, see a three there from Holton, uh, another three from Jordan, a nice bucket there inside. You know, and uh, we got to talk about uh, about South Dakota as well. They've shot the three-point ball well, six of 14 in the first half. But see a couple of these plays here. I, I think that the Wolverines. Uh, yeah, have done a good job creating their own offense. Holton's hit a, hit a couple of really deep three-point shots, and we see the monster dunk there from Charlie Westbrook. So, yeah, a lot of highlights here, a lot of things uh, to look forward to in the second half. They list Westbrook, by the way, at six foot four. You said that was pretty generous, but he got up off the floor pretty good on that one. Yeah, he did. If, if he's six four, I'm probably six eight. So, well, you know, you had told me all this time that you were about six eight. I like to tell people that. I, 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 it's natural for everyone to inflate their height, and I think it's more no, especially true of basketball on, players. I mean, everybody wants to everybody wants to be a little bit taller than we really are. Yeah, well, when you stand next to me, the old football guy, yeah, everybody looks <laughs> tall. 51-38, Wolverines lead. We're about set to start our second half of action here. Wolverines looking to run their record in the Great West Conference to 8-1 and, and hang on to first place over NJIT. Meanwhile, South Dakota, they're pretty much in a must-win mode now for the rest of the season as far as conference games go. Uh, they're four and three. They lose probably another one, and I don't think they're going to have a chance at getting that number one seed going into the conference tournament. You know, it's uh, it's going to be, as you said, it's going to be a very important 20 minutes for them. We, we haven't talked much about it, but they are the defending Great West Conference champions. They had a great team last year, so, you know, it's, uh, it's something that, uh, you know, they know how to get through that conference tournament, so... Uh, Wolverines are, are going to have to more than likely play them at another date as well. Yeah, you see, co see Coach Dave Boots there since 1988. He's coached nowhere except South Dakota. South Dakota has possession, shooting camera left here to start this second half. Wolverines start their usual five. There's Westbrook. He'll kick it outside. Get it back. Jumper, long two. No good, tipped around, Swarbrick comes away with it for the Wolverines. Good defensive possession to start the game, forcing a, a jump shot there. Did a very nice job of containing those dribble handoffs. Inside to Gettys, blocked on that attempt. Trevor Gruis comes away with it for South Dakota. Rare to see Gettys Robinson have a shot blocked. He's only 6'5", and we've said it all season long, he plays a lot bigger than the guy who's 6'5". Ruiz working against air. Shot no on the floor. Cutler grabs it for South Dakota. They got a fresh shot clock to work with. Played a minute here in the second half. Nobody scored yet. Still 51-38. South Dakota trying to go in. Instead, they'll take the three from out front. Nobody there but white jerseys picking up that loose ball. Over to Isaiah. Back to Holton. He'll jump a long three left side, back rim, no good. Rebound South Dakota, they're on the run. Bounce pass ahead to Cutler. Alley oop, missed it. It was a nice try between Cutler and Westbrook. Instead, the Wolverines have it. Another block shot, but Gettys gets this one back, puts it back up and in. Yeah, that's what you have to do when you get a turnover like that. You know, Westbrook went up for the dunk, ended up on his backside. You have to push the basketball. Good to see the Wolverines come away with points there. 53-38, Wolverines out in front. Coming up on 18 minutes left in this game. Driving to the hole. Wild and crazy shot. <laughs> Somehow goes down by Jake Thomas. There's some highlight reel material. Yeah, we've seen a number of great plays from South Dakota. Probably none better than that right there. Incredible shot, just flipping the ball up over his shoulder. I think he thought he got fouled and he just threw it up, hoping to get two free throws, and the doggone ball went in, <laughs> no whistle. I love the fact that the officials are letting this one go. Wolverines only had two fouls in that first half. Ben aired, misses the jumper inside, Gettys lost the handle, puts it back up, missed it again, and a foul is gonna be called inside this time. Going to go against Bruce, Trevor Bruce. Getty's got that offensive rebound. 
because of the shot there from Ben Aird. A, a nice shot from Ben, but I think Geddes utilizes the pump fake in the post better than just about anybody I see. It seems like we see that exact same play at least four times a game where he gets the ball right underneath the rim, is able to pump fake, get his defenders up in the air, and use the rim as a protection going one side or the other. Uh, he's, he's incredible at doing that. Yeah, he's Robinson, nine points, ten rebounds. Second free throw, also good. He made them both. He's got the double-double, and we've still got 17 and a half minutes to play in this game. You know, South Dakota is going to be very active here. They've got these, these four perimeter players in the game who are just going to be trying to come off screens, set by Gulas, as we see here. The whistle inside. Well, you know, I may have jinxed this whole game as soon as I said, isn't it great that the officials are letting things go. We've had two fouls on two consecutive possessions. That one is going to go against Ben Aird, his second, team's first of the second half. You know, it's so clear what South Dakota is trying to do. They're going to get Gruis up, setting those picks. They're going to be doing dribble handoffs. Passes to, to players on the wing who are going to be looking to drive to the basket. So it's up to the Wolverines to be very aware. Everybody on the court, as we see, as, as Thomas came off of that screen at the top, forced Ben Aird to come over and gets called for the foul. Jake Thomas, one of the best free throw shooters in the conference, misses the first one, but gets the second one to go. It's 55-41. Wolverines by 14. About 17 minutes and 15 seconds left in this basketball game. Hunsaker, Williams, Swarbrick, Baird, and Robinson on the floor right now for the Wolverines. If you're joining us late, either on the radio or on UVU television, Wolverines did trail in this game at 3 to nothing. Since then, they pretty much dominated score-wise. Geddes working inside, gets it again. Once again, using that pump fake, going using the other side of the rim to uh, to put the ball in the basket. Nice job there, but see, there's where we see the Wolverines getting the ball inside, using their post players, using the passing ability of Ben. Westbrook drives in, working against Ben Air, trying to get him in foul trouble. Scoop shot goes down. 57-43. Wolverines up on top with 16 and a half to play. Yeah, it looks like the Wolverines are doing some switching in their defense, and it's causing some matchup problems for them. As we see, Geddes or Ben is going to have to guard a smaller player, kind of like what we talked about in the first half with uh, Justin Baker in the game. Ball's tied up inside. Possession arrow goes Wolverines' direction on that jump ball call. Jordan Boots checks into the game. Cutler will take a seat. Coach Dick Hunsager of the Wolverines counters by sending Justin Baker into the game and putting Ben Aird on the bench for a breather. Wolverine basketball, baseline, camera right. Put it into Swarbrick, deep right corner. Swarbrick forces it up, watch from behind, they'll call a foul. Westbrook might have got him from behind. Charlie Westbrook with the personal foul. Going to put one of the, the Wolverines best free throw shooter on the line and the nation's number 19 best free throw shooter on the line in the form of George Schwarbrick. 90% free throw shooter on the season. Makes the first 58-43 now. 16 minutes, 11 seconds to play. Swarbrick senior from El Dorado, California. Only married player on the Wolverine team. My wife Amber attends almost every game, even many of the away games. Makes them both. 59-43. Gruis working against Gettys Robinson and scores. Basket will count. They'll call Gettys Robinson for the foul. Just another high screen at the top of the key. Gruis sets a great screen there, rolls to the basket, gets rewarded. He has options to shoot it or going to kick it out. He takes the shot there and draws the foul. Eddie's Robinson picks up his second. Media timeout. We'll take it with him. 59-45. Wolverines up with just under 16 minutes to play here on the Wolverine Sports Network.
bus pass, $5. UVU t-shirt, so you can impress the ladies, $25. iPod Nano, $120. Degree from UVU so you can afford your own car someday. Prices. For everything else, there's student loans. Wolverines lead at 59 45. A reminder the Utah Community Credit Union is a proud sponsor of Wolverine Athletics. They are the official sponsor of the UVU student section, the Mall, the Mighty Athletic Wolverine League. Well, you talked about it, Matt Peterson. The Wolverines might come out a little flat in the second half compared to the first half. First half shooting 51%, second half so far 33. Yeah, I, I think that South Dakota's done a good job of tightening up their defense a little bit. I like the energy that the Wolverines have come out with here. I, I think that they're playing great. I don't think that they've, they've slacked off at all. I, I think that their energy has been where it needs to be. You know, they still have a 14-point lead, and I, I thought they I think that they've played a, a pretty good start to the second half. Burris misses the free throw, so it remains 59-45. Wolverines with the possession on the missed free throw. You know, one thing that I think South Dakota has changed up, it looks like they're playing more of a 3-2 zone here. It looks like they've been doing this for a little bit. They played the predominantly the 2-3, but now they've done a little bit of a switch to a 3-2 to, to mitigate the three-point shots that the Wolverines are getting. Justin Baker picks up his seventh point of the night. The Wolverines lead at 61-45 on the outside jumper. 15 minutes, 20 seconds left in this basketball game. Here in Oregon, Utah, long three-pointer outside. Jake Thomas buries the three. 61-48 now. You know, Jake Thomas is a serious threat when he's coming off of a screen. Gruis is a big body. He has the ability to set good screens. Uh, Wolverine's got to do a better job of rotating out to him, not giving him such good looks. Another turnaround jumper from Baker, almost the same spot. And this one is good as well. Baker's got nine points off the bench. Wolverines lead it, 63-48. Tucker works it in to Gruis. Off the glass, no. Tipped up, no. Back up, no. South Dakota getting all sorts of looks at it. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Ball never did hit the rim to reset that shot clock. Tucker with it. Gets Baker up off his feet. Nails the jumper anyway. 63-50. Wolverines lead us 13. 14 minutes and 15 seconds left in this one. Isaiah hasn't had a shot yet here in the second half, has he? There you go. And he buries the three. I should have said that a long time ago. Yeah, he hasn't got a shot, but he's done an amazing job working to get open. He's done a lot of cutting along the baseline and coming off of screens as we we'll see another back-to-back -back three there from Krogman. <laughs> Krogman buries his three. He's just going back and forth. It's 66-53. Another three. Isaiah misses this one. He's 5 of 11 from three-point land. South Dakota with the basketball following that miss. It's Krogman. Gives over to Jake Thomas. Leading score, 14 points for South Dakota. Throws through the lane. Pulls it out for the three. Missed it. Rebound South Dakota. Jordan Boots. Kicks it out wide open, but they'll say Boots just ran over somebody after he dished that one off. Nice job of being aware there by Holton Hunsaker coming in and taking the charge. And, you know, it seems like South Dakota is just doing a lot of running around with the basketball, a lot of dribbling as we see Holton come in there and take the charge. Oh. Yeah, definitely a very good awareness there from Holton. But South Dakota on the offensive end, it seems like they're just out there playing, doing a lot of passing, doing a lot of screening, doing a lot of moving without the basketball. And they're getting good shots. Hunsaker, after taking one to the jaw, misses the three, and there's Justin Baker. Might just be the best sixth man in the league this year. Everybody projected him to be a starter. In fact, he was preseason all-conference. Nobody knew the Wolverines were going to bring in so many good freshmen. Turnaround jumper is good, but a blocking foul going to be called against South Dakota. I think they might just count that basket as well. It will count, and the foul is going to go against Andriotti. That's his fourth. 68-53 now. Wolverines up by 15. Just Baker on a roll here. He turns to the basket, sees that he's got an open lane, 
That was definitely not a charge. Looked maybe more like a flop there from Andriotti, but beautiful move from Justin. He's, he's come out and played great on the offensive end. Missed the free throw, so it remains 68-53 until South Dakota comes down and buries the jumper to make it 68-55. I believe we talked about offense in the <laughs> keys of the game. Yeah. We sure uh, certainly were not wrong with that because it, it has turned into an offensive affair here. Swarbrick, beautiful, or excuse me, Hunsaker with a beautiful drive. Could not convert the layup, though. South Dakota comes away with it. 12 minutes, 15 seconds left in this basketball game. Wolverines out in front right now by 13. With a great West Conference opponent. South Dakota, turn around jumper, is off the side of the backboard by Andriotti, Wolverines have it. And a strategy that's worked for the Wolverines on defense, they've been doing a ton of switching. And it looks like they're just about switching every player possible. Justin Baker guarding guards, he gets, gets switched on to a big man. They've done a lot of switching on the defensive end. And the theory behind doing that is? Well, just trying to, to really slow down what South Dakota is trying to do. If you have the players that can guard, as I think the Wolverines lineup does, I think they can play just about anybody, and Justin's proven that. Gettys misses the shot inside. Baker with the follow, though. Wolverines lead at 70 to 55. Still got 11 and a half minutes to play. And when you're setting these screens like we might see here, Justin just switches that. It's so hard for Krogman to get past him there. He has no ability, and they'll just switch this back if he comes off of it. Jumper outside from Tecker. Buries it. That's a three-pointer as well, 70-58. Nine three-pointers. For South Dakota, 11 for UVU. So a great read there from Krogman. He could have taken it back off the screen like I thought he was going to do. He took it away, and there was he, he had to have some help. The Wolverines had to help over, and, and he kicked it out to Tucker. Gettys Robinson has it. Dishes is off. And Baker is into double figures unofficially now. 11 points. 72-58. Not bad coming off the bench. 11 points and six rebounds for the senior. Wolverines lead it 72 58. 10 and a half to play. Three pointer back the other way comes Louis Krogman and buries it. 72 61. Timeout on the floor. We'll take this one with them. 60 second timeout. 10 and a half to play. Wolverines lead by 11 here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Valley University. Your life, your beat, your university. U Center. We'll welcome our UVU TV viewers back. A reminder about Wolverine Crossing. It is student living redefined for student housing information. You can text Wolverine to 47464. Wolverines, 50% shooting on the game. South Dakota, 45%. Wolverines lead at 72-61, 10-20 to play. I want you to follow up, Matt, when South Dakota has the basketball about that switching you were talking about. Right now, Wolverines have possession. Ben Aaron with it, gives it over to Swarbrick. Deadweiler's in the game, as is Baker. Jumper from Swarbrick is good. 74-61. With just under 10 minutes to play in this one. You know, it's hard to, hard to say that the 3-2 defense from South Dakota has slowed down the Wolverines when they've got 74 points, but I think that 3-2 has cost them a little bit of problems. Yeah. Foul going to be called inside against Holton Hunsaker. His first, team's third. We've got another 
timeout here. Nine minutes, 48 seconds to play. All right, we're going to take another 60-second break, both radio and TV. We'll be back in 60. Wolverines lead at 74-61 on the Wolverine Sports Network. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician, a mechanic, or a scientist? Did you dream about helping others and achieving great things? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success, where ideas flow and dreams are realized. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. A place where your professors know you by name and are devoted to your development. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. Wolverines lead it 74 to 61. They shot 51% in that second half. So far, 50% in the second half. Waiting for our radio listeners to join us. They're back. Fans Adidas, the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas Apparel, go to adidas.com. Thanks for being with us on this simulcast tonight. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Wolverines have trailed only once. That's when it was three to nothing. They have led by as many as 18 points. Right now, they lead at 74-61 with 9.48 to play. South Dakota basketball. They'll get it in. In the backcourt. Deadwater, Hunsaker, Aird, Swarbrick, and Baker on the floor right now for the Wolverines. Cutler with it. Lobs it inside to Ruiz, and a foul going to be inside against the Wolverines. They will count the basket. Foul's going to go against Holton Hunsaker. His second. So that switching all of a sudden not working or what? Yeah, here's what I was going to say about the switching. It can be very difficult if you don't have excellent communication. We saw Crawford get a wide open three point shot, clearly a miscommunication on defense. The other thing that switching can do that might cause a problem is exactly what it did there. Ben and Holton switch players. So Holton had to guard Trevor Gruis, which is a serious height, mis height mismatch. So that can cause some problems. You know, you're going to be maybe forced to guard a player that's bigger or smaller than you are, as well as you have to have excellent communication or it could break down. Wolverine's lead is down to 10 now, 74-64, 9.18 to play. 15 seconds on the shot clock for the Wolverines to work with. Swarbrick will take a three, back rim too hard, fought for, up in the air, South Dakota, they're on the run, three on three. Driving, drawing the foul, that was Kendall Cutler. That's Hunsaker, it's gonna be three quick fouls on Holton Hunsaker. Let's see the replay here. Wow, could've gone either way. Clock stop, 9.05 to play. You know, once again, I, I think that was a good call, Jim. I think that uh, Kendall Cutler had, a, had an alley to the basket there. Holton just wasn't quite set. I think that's why it went against him. But there we go, looking at South Dakota, pushing the basketball, trying to be very active, getting the ball up the court. It's under double digits now. 74-65, Wolverines lead is just nine. They led at halftime by 13. They led as, by as many as 18 in that first half. Second free throw also good. Here they come. 74-66. Five straight points for South Dakota. Biggest run they've had in this game. See what offense the Wolverines run here against this 3-2. Looks like they're trying to get an active runner on the baseline. Get him going a little bit. Kevin Woods replaces Holton Hunsaker. And Ben Aird drew the foul and scored off the glass. They're going to count that one. Nice play by the big man. And Charlie Westbrook picks up the foul, his second, team's fifth. Ben loves that move. He loves using his left shoulder as kind of a shield. And he loves that one-handed shot. It's a great shot for him. It's like he's definitely worked on that. It's a, it's a, a great skill, a great asset that he has. Uh, he can make those shots from just about any distance out, and just about at any angle, as he did there, banking it in. Ben Aird, 11 points, eight rebounds, coming down the other way. Another quick whistle. Well, after a fairly clean first half of action, Wolverines only called for two fouls in that first half. South Dakota called for nine. We've already had 11 called in the second half. We still had 8.44 to play. That one goes against Justin Baker, his first. And it's that problem again that we see. You know, the bigs of Utah Valley, either Justin Baker 
Ben Aird or Geddes Robinson are forced to guard a smaller player. And a, one of those smaller players looks like we're going to get an adjustment here. Keith Thompson. To yeah, Keith Thompson coming in. But one of those players is going to have to guard a smaller player, and it can cause a, cause a little bit of difficulty in the sense that all of those, those players from South Dakota, in this, in this instance, uh, Tecker, he's looking to go to the basket. He's not looking to shoot a three-point shot with a bigger guy on him. He's looking to drive to the rim. Tecker made back end of two, just the front end. So it's a 10-point lead for the Wolverines. 77-67 coming up on eight and a half left. Aired another jumper. He's, he's deadlier from about 10 feet out than he is from two or three feet out, I think. Yeah, and he's just camping there. He's been camping there all game. He just works his way across the lane, across the free throw line, trying to get an angle, and he does a great job of it. That time, Cutler couldn't get it to go. Wolverine's on the run. Keith Thompson has it. Pulls it up, gives it over to the hot man. It's Ben Aaron tried to feed it inside, slapped away, turnover. South Dakota on the run. Three on two. Ben Aaron from behind, caught up to it. He's the one that threw the ball away for the turnover, and credit Ben, true freshman from Bountiful, Utah, coming back down the court. Couldn't keep up with the fast guys, but trailing, blocked it from behind. Yeah, and I, I think there was a great defense. I, I, it was either Kevin Woods or Sean Deadweiler, who was back in transition defense, did an excellent job of not allowing the South Dakota player to get to the rim, allowing Ben to come in for the block. South Dakota basketball, Westbrook drives in, scoop shot between two players, no good. And Keith Thompson, with authority, yanks that one out of the air. Wolverine possession. He'll drive it down. Bank shot, no. He drew the foul. He's going to shoot two. It's become a track meet, Jim. This is a, this. This looks more like just running up and down the court. Both teams getting good shots. Brings us to another media timeout. 7:49 to play. Wolverines lead at 79-67. Back in 60 seconds here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Wolverines lead at 79-67. A reminder of the UVU Alumni Association proud to sponsor the player of the game tonight. Matt Peterson's going to have his hands full selecting that one. Support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online at uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. 79-67. Wolverines by 12 right now. South Dakota had cut it to eight. For the Wolverines scored a couple. Right now, Keith Thompson at the free throw line for the Wolverines. Thompson on the season hasn't been there very often, only 33 times. And misses the front end of two. 7.49 to play in this game. Second one, flanks off badly. Ball on the floor, diving for it is Justin Baker, tied up, and the possession arrow is going to go South Dakota's direction. Well, I was going to make a comment of a, of a statistic that we have. You know, offensive rebounds for South Dakota, 10, 13 for the Wolverines. That to me seems like a kind of a high number. I know we still have about eight minutes left to play, but high for who? Well, I think for both teams. I think sometimes that can be maybe a little bit unusual uh, to, to have that many offensive rebounds. We'll see how it plays out in obviously the entire game, but you know, it's a good statistic for the Wolverines. They, they do have 13 offensive rebounds. Uh, a lot of those can be attributed to, to playing against the zone defense. Cutler walks it across the stripe, gives it over to Tecker. Working against Baker. That feed inside. Brewis scoring inside. 79-69. Wolverines lead is back down to 10 with 7.25 to play. Coach Dick Hunsick a quick out the bench, I believe. We call a timeout as soon as the ball got across midcourt. We'll keep this one here. 
Any idea what's going on there, Matt? Yeah, I think that the Wolverines are, are going to make some personnel adjustments here because that, that pick and roll or the screening and where, where Grua sets the screen and rolling to the basket is just causing problems. And he's doing a nice job of setting those big wide screens and then he's just rolling. And what he does is he, he gets the he gets the basketball in great position. He's got 13 points. Actually, he's got 15 points on the night, seven of 10 from the field. And it, it all results from him screening and getting shots there in the paint. So I, I think the Wolverines are gonna have to make some type of defensive adjustment to keep Gruis. They have been switching and when you do that, it's a lot easier to roll to the basket. UVU is on Facebook. Just search for Utah Valley Wolverines, and you can see all sorts of game action, past games, highlights, all sorts of other surprises there for you Facebookers. 79-69. Coming up on seven minutes left here in this basketball game. Wolverines with a 10-point lead. And things are starting to heat up here. Isaiah Williams needs to heat up from the corner for the Wolverines, misses the three. Tipped up by Ben Aird, no good, and he hits the deck hard and stays down. That foul's gonna go against Trevor Gruis. For Gruis, his third personal. Here's the replay, Matt. Yeah, long three-point shot there from Isaiah. Ben just in there fighting for position and gets, uh, gets undercut there a little bit by Kendall Cutler. But there's once again, Jim, another offensive rebound. It's, it's always a good sign when you can be active, you can get in, you can create those uh, offensive rebounds. Ben Aird, true freshman from Bountiful. Served his LDS mission in the state of Washington. Got home uh, over the summer. According to Coach Dick Hunsaker, still shaking off that missionary rust, as is Holton Hunsaker, who got home in August from Fiji. A little bit of rust, <laughs> along with a little bit of pain, I think, from that hitting the deck pretty hard. 7.07 left in this one. Wolverines lead by 10. Seventh team foul, by the way, against South Dakota. So, aired second one on the way. Good. 80-69. Color with the basketball in his hands for South Dakota. Lewis has 15 points. Thomas 14. Frogman 11. Tecker has 11. South Dakota players trying to light it up inside. Shot no. Foul's going to be called on the way to the hole. That's going to put Trevor Gruis at the free throw line. This one is going to go against Gettys Robinson, his third. You know, I don't want to sound redundant here or be repeating myself, but it's it's the same play every time. You know, it's Gruis setting that screen and rolling. That time Gettys came over uh, for the help, came over a little bit late, but Wolverines still have not fi figured out how to stop that pick and roll and how to stop him from rolling to the basket. Trevor Gruis, the freshman out of Ellsworth, Minnesota, misses the first of two free throws. Gruis had 12 points in that game a month ago at South Dakota. Tonight, 15 already, make it 16 as he nails the second one. And the Wolverines lead back down to 10, 80 to 70. 6.45 to play. Wolverines with their starting five on the floor right now. And so they're over to Swarbrick. Working on the right side to Ben. Left side to Isaiah. Fakes once, kicks out to Jordan. Works into Holton. Drives in, dishes out. Isaiah, he'll jump a three. No good. And ball goes harmlessly out of bounds on that missed shot. Will belong to South Dakota. 6.20 to play. 80 to 70. Wolverines leading by 10. It's like rarely does a Great West Conference game not be close. Gruis scores inside on the nice move. 80 72 now. He's eight-point lead. I was going to say, he's been the MVP for South Dakota tonight. He, he brought his game. He was ready to play tonight for sure. Inside, Ben Air twisting. I am good. 82-72, 5.45 to play. Ben Air, 16 points. Jumper outside. Tecker, no good. Wolverines come away with it. Isaiah's gone cold. He's only 5 of 13 from the floor. Drives into the lane. Might get to shoot two free throws. Isaiah still has 15 points. 
despite the fact he's only made five shots, all five of them have been pointers. I love what he did here because we know he's been struggling. We know he's been struggling shooting the three-point ball. He saw that lane, and he said, I'm not going to settle for an outside shot. I'm going to the rim. And that's what you need to do sometimes when you are struggling from, from the outside. Get maybe get to the free throw line. Get your rhythm back a little bit. And I, I love that because he could have settled for an outside, outside shot there, but he said, I'm going to the rim, and that's exactly what he did. Isaiah, 86% free throw shooter on the season. Originally from Chicago, played at Farragut High School. Makes the first of two. Second one on its way, also good. 84-72, Wolverines by 12 now with five and a half to play. And that was a nice, a nice play there from him because I think the Wolverines were settling for three-point shots in the last couple of possessions, taking three-point shots when they maybe could have been a little more aggressive. Brogdon has it. Comes off a screen, wide open jumper. Rims around twice and comes out no good. Wolverine possession on the miss. They lead by 12, coming up on five minutes left in this game. Wolverines look like they're going to burn a little clock now. Hensager goes to the corner, gives over to Swarbrick. Gets it back. Cutler went for the steal. And South Dakota does come over with the steal. On the run to the other end. Layup. Good. From Kendall Cutler. Cutler's first basket of the night. Hard to believe. Six points overall. The other four have come from the strike. Had ten in the first game between these two. 84-74. Under four and a half minutes to play here. Wolverines with the lead. Hunsayer gives over to Aird. He's way out on the left wing. Isaiah will take a jumper for three. Missed another one. And a weak side rebound comes down to South Dakota. Looking to cut that 10-point lead down a little bit more. Forcing his way in and drawing the foul is Cutler. And that one's going to go against Holden Hunsaker. That's number four. Wolverines are in trouble. Hunsaker goes out. Definitely a foul there from Holton. You know, in their transition offense, it seems like South Dakota tries to spread the floor and spread the court out and allow who's ever coming down the middle of the court a lot of offensive room. As we saw the replay there from the baseline, it didn't look like there was any Wolverine player other than Holton in the paint there. So it looks like South Dakota's trying to spread them out. Uh, Wolverines have to be aware of that, that, that this game is going to be about transition defense here, closing out as looking to cut the lead here to eight points. Cutler's first one was good, his second one on its way, also good. 84-76. This is as close as South Dakota has been since it was about, what, 12 to five. Four minutes to play. And the Wolverines here, Jim, they cannot afford a turnover. They have to get a good shot here. South Dakota's found a little bit of rhythm. Key for the Wolverines to get a good shot. Swarbrick will take a three corner, no good. Tipped up, kept alive by Gettys Robinson. Tracked down and a foul gonna get called against South Dakota. He's only 6'5", folks. It's amazing to me how well he plays. Timeout on the floor. 346 to play. Don't go away. This one's getting good. 84-76. Wolverines by eight here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! the three-point line and he knocks it down. Wolverines lead at 84-76. Wolverines being outshot in the second half, 48 to 46. For those who want to watch this live on the internet, go to uvu.edu slash broadcast slash streaming. Broadcast slash streaming. 
put that behind uvu.edu. All five starters for the Wolverines in double figures, very evenly scoring. In fact, six man Justin Baker off the bench with 15 points. So six Wolverines in double figures. Right now, Gettys Robinson at the free throw line. On its way, good. We'll have another one. Yeah, these free throws are going to be key here. Uh, you know, obviously, they're going to be shooting a one and one until one more foul is committed. I guess on the next foul, it's going to be the double bonus, but these free throws are going to be key, and I, I think that's a, a great advantage for the Wolverines as they are a great free throw shooting team. Another yeah. offensive rebound. Yeah, he's missed the second one. Swarbrick pulled it out of midair, gives over to Deadweiler. Holton Hunsaker is on the bench with those four fouls. Deadweiler will be running point. Gives over to Swarbrick. Back up top to Sean. Deadweiler, another senior. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. Shot inside, no. And going to belong to the Wolverines. One off South Dakota. Three minutes, 25 seconds left. Deadweiler will trigger for the Wolverines. Baseline, they have a fresh 35-second shot clock to work with. And the inbounds pass came almost into the backcourt. And, of course, Kendall Cutler and Swarbrick both pointing at each other, saying he touched it last, he touched it last. But they're going to give it to the Wolverines. Yeah, I'm not sure I know who touched it last. Maybe you do, but that was a pretty tough play, a bang-bang play there. Wolverines, once again, it's it, these turnovers in these instances, they, they cannot afford these. When in doubt, always agree with the official. <laughs> it saves you a lot of grief. So we will say, without a doubt, <laughs> that that was Wolverine basketball. Three minutes left in this basketball game. Wolverines lead it by nine, 85-76. Deadweiler has it. Six seconds to shoot. Over to Isaiah on the baseline. Drives in, dishes off. Air jumper from about eight feet. Good. What else is new? Ben aired 18 points and nine rebounds. He had 19 points and eight rebounds the first time. He loves playing South Dakota. Two minutes, 36 seconds left. Ball on the floor. Picked up Swarbrick. Turnover, South Dakota. Yeah, that was one of the better defensive possessions we've seen all night. Wolverines very active, knowing who the three-point shooters are, getting hands in passing lanes. Great deflection there from Schwarber coming up with the basketball. 2.20 to play, clock rolling. 87-76, Wolverines by 11. After South Dakota had cut it to eight at 84-76, Wolverines score three quick points. And a foul out front. Jake Thomas picks up his second. Wolverines are in the double bonus. Both teams are in the double bonus. So with 2.10 to play, Sean Deadweiler at the free throw line. Deadweiler on the season, 76% free throw shooter. First one, no good. Because of that double bonus, he'll get another one. We'll see here, Sean, obviously running the point guard with Holton out with uh, foul trouble. Jake Thomas putting really good pressure. Trying to go for some steals here, but definitely gets uh, gets a reach in foul. Second free throw, bounces around, rolls around, drops through good. 88-76. Well, both teams have just about blown past their scoring averages for the season. They're going to call a foul on Sean Deadwire. He was trying to stay with Kendall Cutler. Shot will not count. TV audience saw that shot go down. They wave that one off. Clock stop 204. 88 76. Wolverines by 12 right now. We've got a timeout on the floor. South Dakota took it. We'll keep this one here. 204 to play, Matt Peterson. 88-76. Wolverines did not do what we thought they might coming out of the locker room with a little lapse in shooting. They led by 13 at halftime. Continued to lead most of the way until South Dakota cut it to within eight. Now they push it out to 12. I think Coach Booth called a timeout there. I wouldn't be surprised to see if off of these free throws, if there is a make, if they're going to look to get some full court pressure. They have two minutes left. They're down 12 points. They've got to start trying to create something. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some full court pressure off of a uh, off of a made free throw here. If you're the Wolverines, you've got to make sure that you get the ball in bounds and do not turn it over because any foul that happens, you're going to be at the free throw line. 
Um, we've seen this time and time again. It seems like every every game we have here, for uh, for whatever reason, uh, we, we have these these types of situations where the Wolverines face full court pressure. Free throw, no good. Swarbrick. Holton Hunsaker back into the game, playing with those four fouls. 157 to play. Wolverine possession. 88-76 following that missed free throw. You know, it doesn't have to be full court pressure. It looks like they're, they're doing this half court pressure too, trying to trap. Holton Hunsaker fouled out front with a minute 45 to play. That one's going to go against Crockman. His third. And down to the nitty gritty now, folks. Wolverines have won several games this season thanks to their free throw shooting. And this freshman has been a big part of it. 85% on the season from the strike. On its way, good. 89-76. Holton Hunsaker, true freshman. Three more seasons with he and been aired for the Wolverines after this. Makes the second one, 90 to 76. You gotta have everybody rebounding in this situation. Any shot that's put up, you gotta have a total team rebounding effort because you know South Dakota will crash the, the glass hard. A minute 42 to play. Wolverines lead it 90 to 76 inside. No, outside. Long three pointer is good. 90 79. There's that pressure you talked about. Swarbrick gets it across over to Deadweiler, back to Swarbrick. Under a minute and a half, Swarbrick triple team. Gives over to Isaiah. Williams moving around, gives it back to Swarbrick. I think South Dakota's been told, don't foul Williams or Swarbrick. But when they're the only guys with the basketball, you got to foul them. Well, Stop the clock. Yeah, it's been rather amazing how, how good a pressure they put on without fouling. What a tip up by Justin Baker on the miss from Swarbrick. Justin Baker, phenomenal tip. It's 92-79 with 104 to play. Justin Baker off the bench with 17 points, seven rebounds. Wow, what a play. Six Wolverines in double figures. And I'm not so sure that Baker isn't the most impressive of the bunch. Ben Aird has been great. Isaiah was great early. Hunsaker's hit four three-pointers. You're going to have a tough time, my friend, picking a UVU player of the game after this. I might take off early. <laughs> Listen, I might not be back after the interview with Coach Hunsaker. Oh, no. Immediately after this game, we'll be talking to Coach Dick Hunsaker. And then we'll take our usual 60-second break. And when we come back, it'll be Matt Peterson I on have, the mic choosing the UVU Alumni Association player of the game. If memory serves me correct, I have chosen multiple players of the game. Oh, we, don't. We, we don't. may look at that, but don't we'll, even we'll, we'll narrow it down to one. Don't try it. South Dakota possession. We're under a minute to play. Long three-pointer. This time coming outside from Thomas. Missed it. Isaiah Williams with a rebound. We'll see if South Dakota calls it off with 49 seconds to play, trailing 92-79. Wolverines look like they're going to pull this one out. Swarbrick fouled up top. Krogman picks up his fourth, and Jordan Swarbrick will be at the line where he's 2 of 2 tonight, 10 points overall. Swarbrick's worked hard for his 10 points. Aired with 18, Baker with 17, Isaiah with 17. Free throw good, 93-79. Wolverines up on top. Second one is also good from Swarbrick. Wolverines have now outscored them 10 to three since South Dakota had drawn to within eight. 39 seconds left in this one. Jumper outside, comes off no good. Wolverines fighting for the rebound. Isaiah comes away with it. A little reach-in foul to stop the clock by Kendall Cutler. Or excuse me, that was uh, Gruis, Trevor Gruis. That's number four on him. And Isaiah Williams will be at the stripe where he's perfect tonight, two of two. Wolverine free throw shooting, 19 of 26 tonight. Well below their season average. That's 73%. On the season, they're 77% free throw shooters. First one rolls off no good. If Isaiah could hear me, he'd probably just run over here and tell me to shut up. Quit jinxing me. Isaiah 
Still with 17 points. Five assists, by the way, for the junior. Second one, he missed them both. First time this season, Isaiah Williams has missed two consecutive free throws. On the run with the clock rolling, stolen away. Wolverines with it, and South Dakota's going to call off the dogs. Wolverines are going to win this one. Shot clock is off. They can dribble out the final seconds. 94-79. Wolverines hang on to first place in the Great West Conference. Eight and one conference record. South Dakota, four and four. South Dakota's only chance of winning this uh, conference title is going to have to come in the conference tournament. They will not be conference regular season champs. Wolverines avenge a four-point loss at their place. Very impressive, huh, Matt? Yeah, very impressive. I, I thought and I was under the impression that they were not going to play as bad offensively in tonight's game as they did against Texas Pan America, and, and that proved to be the point. 94 points. They shot the ball wonderfully. They have, I can't even count how many players they have in double digits, six players they have in double digits. So great all-around total team offensive effort tonight as well as on the defensive end. Gettys Robinson, by the way, a new school record for double-doubles in a season. This is his seventh double-double tonight. Finishes with 13 points and 15 rebounds. I'm glad I'm not picking the player of the game tonight because this has been a pretty impressive performance by a whole bunch of Wolverines. Wolverines trailed early against South Dakota at 3 to nothing. After that, Wolverines just ran off three straight three-pointers to lead nine to three and they led at halftime by 13 pushed their lead out to as many as 18 points south dakota was able to cut it to an eight point wolverine lead at 84 76 from that point forward the wolverines close out the game on a 10-3 run to win it by 15 points 94 79 we're joined now by victorious head coach dick hunsayer coach congratulations on this one and a very impressive performance by the wolverines tonight were you impressed as i was well we started well we did some very good things early, and, and then I thought we kind of trudged along. Our energy wasn't great th for, through as long as it needed to be. I, I, you know, you get those early leads, and my team plays and makes young decisions. They don't make some of the crisp, good choices they need to. I, you know, I'm not certainly complaining. We had 25 assists on 32 field goals. You know, we can shoot the ball. We have a very effective team, a very efficient team in many manners. Be the first game of the season with six players in double figures, if I'm not mistaken. Very productive play. We were able to limit Westbrook the best we could. He's a heck of a talent, heck of a player. And they shoot the ball so well as they shoot 50, almost 80 percent from the arc. Um, you know, I'm happy with the win. The second half could have played a lot smoother. I knew I, I had a little concern that we were going to trudge through it because we have done that more than once this season with, with, with leads. Now, we've come out with victories each time. We haven't given anything away, but just a maturity in how the decisions that we make along the way need to improve. And, um, you know, we got a heck of a game coming up on Saturday night, um, you know, Taking down the defending uh, Great West champion here uh, puts us in, in, you know, puts us one step closer to our goal. Uh, and they're a, this is the most explosive offensive team I feel. They got a lot of weapons on that club, and uh, we were just able to, frankly, we were able to outscore them in this game. But uh, you know, I thought there were some good plays. I thought Aird had a nice game. Gettys has 15 rebounds. I sure like seeing that. I like seeing that rebound dif differential on that court. Um, I like seeing the seven turnovers. There were a lot of good things out there. I'd just like to see a little hardness, a little bit more firmness with our basketball. That was a, it was a great victory, though, and a nice way to avenge that loss. Congratulations again, Coach. Thank you. Wolverines win it 94-79. Very impressive uh, performance, as Coach mentioned. Six players in double figures for the Wolverines. We're going to go over who scored how many when we get back. We're going to take a break. We'll update the uh, official stats for you, and then Matt Peterson's going to pick the UVU Alumni Association player of the game right after this. Wolverines win it 94-79 back in uh, 60 seconds here on the Wolverine Sports Network.
Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Wolverines win this one, 94-79. It's the third highest scoring total for Utah Valley in regulation this season. Let's take a look, Matt, at some stats from that uh, from that victory. The Wolverines just pretty much dominated from the get-go. It got a little close, but Wolverines win it pretty easily. Yeah, both teams getting up 65 shots. Uh, Wolverines obviously 32 of 65. Three-point shots, geez, if you were a fan of the three-point shot, you, you wouldn't want to miss tonight's game because there were a lot of three-pointers put up. Wolverine's a slight edge on, on free throws there. Points in the paint, uh, South Dakota had that uh, advantage, mostly due to Trevor Gruis, who had a very great game. Uh, blocks and steals even. So you had made mention in the, in the pregame there, Jim, is that these two teams st statistically are very, very similar. And we look at that, and, and that definitely... It's true. They're, they're two very, very similar teams. And you said it better than I did. <laughs> Wolverines, as much as we talk about the three-point shooting night, they only hit one in the second half. That's pretty amazing. All right, here's how the uh, individual scoring goes. Uh, for And I'll let you look at the stat sheet while we uh, and determine who's going to be that player of the game. Ben Aird, leading scorer in this game, 18 points. Isaiah Williams, 17 points. Justin Baker off the bench, 17 points. Holton Hunsaker, 16. Geddes Robinson, 13. Jordan Swarbrick, 12. Uh, Sean Deadweiler, one point. Kevin Woods, Keith Thompson both played, did not score. Geddes Robinson, by the way, 13 points, 15 rebounds, his seventh double-double of the season. That's a new UVU school record. Meanwhile, for South Dakota, they shoot 45% on the game. They were led in scoring by Jake Thomas with 17, or excuse me, Trevor Gruis had 18, Jake Thomas had 17, Tecker had 11, Louis Krogman had 11 as well. Wolverines out-rebound him 47-30. Wolverines outscore them 94-79. All right, now the thing everybody's been waiting for, Matt Peterson, your UVU Alumni Association player of the game. Well, you know, we had a couple worthy candidates, and I think Justin Baker played incredible coming off of the bench. 8 of 10, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Geddes Robinson, incredible statistics, 13 points, 15 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks. But I, I think tonight, to me, the, the winner of this is going to be Ben Aird. Really? Why? Well, I mean, obviously look at his stat line, and, and it's not all about statistics. You know, he had 18 points. He had 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, 1 steal. I mean, okay, he, he, filled okay, up, okay. he filled up the stat sheet tonight. <laughs> But to me, it was more about just putting up the numbers. I think on the offensive end, he did so much work at the free throw line that I think he really was the catalyst for the Wolverines zone offense tonight. We talked so much about the three-point shots, but to me, it was about the ability for the Wolverines to get the ball into Ben there. And uh, I think he, he was the, the player of the game despite, you know, huge numbers put up offensively for a number of different players. All right. Congratulations to Ben Aird. He is our UVU Alumni Association player of the game. Wolverines don't have much time off. 48 hours from now, they'll be hosting North Dakota in a game, a rematch of a game that went four overtimes at North Dakota before the Wolverines were able to win that one. So if you got a chance, come out and see the Wolverines Saturday night, tip off time, 7 o'clock. That will be our next game and our next broadcast. And then they're a week from Saturday, also at home hosting Houston Baptist. The Wolverines only have three more regular season games left, two more home games, and then that conference tournament they'll be hosting right here. That's going to do it for us. Uh, we appreciate you being with us here on this simulcast on K-Star Radio as well as UVU TV. This simulcast was produced by students from UVU's digital media department. They did a great job tonight. Exec executive producers Dennis Lizenby and Ryan Johnson. Tonight's game produced by Jordan Nash. This has been a copyrighted production of Utah Valley University and the Wolverine Sports Network. Wolverines win it. Final score, 94-79. For Matt Peterson, I'm Jim McCullough saying so long from Orem, Utah.